time for bike night. It's the last one of the year. It is, let's see, October, stay the third. I think it's the third. <clears throat> and, uh, they do all my, there's a, in the Haymarket in Lincoln. Let me organize my thoughts here. So, European Bike Night, European Dual Sport and Vintage Bike Night in the Haymarket. The first Wednesday of every month during, uh, you know, riding weather in the summer. I forget, is it April, I believe, they start April through October? Uh, it's a good time. Hopefully there will be a whole bunch of bikes there tonight because it's uh, the last one and gosh, the weather is absolutely perfect. I also switched back to my other mic. I have a, I had, was using a powered mic for the last couple videos and uh, I think the sound was a little bit better, but I don't want to have to mess with the powered mic on the trip. I want to just take the simple one with the short cord and not have batteries and on off switches and crap, so. Bumper sticker on the little Plymouth neon in front of me. It says, I heart ethanol. I sort of don't. Fermenting corn and uh, I can hear my GPS clearly with the Hyperstrata. Oh, and by the way, thank you, uh, Garden Snakey. Got my rock jeans on here. Just got them today. I kind of, it was kind of a last minute thing. I was like, oh, what pants am I going to take? I've got, I tried out some uh, Duluth Trading Company. Uh, you may have seen their uh, commercials. I don't know if they're nationwide, but they play them every so often where I'm at. And uh, they make like work gear. Um, I, I guess you just call it like uh, outdoorsy guy work gear type stuff. But anyway, they have so the fire hose work pants, right? And so if you don't know, fire hoses are made from a thick like canvas material. And you can get, uh, their work pants are like that same exact material, right? And they're really tough and durable. And then they have these, there's ones with a, a pocket, just like the, the knee pockets on the rock pants. And uh, so you can get, they have like $5 uh, knee pads you can put in. And I ordered those because I was like, oh, I'll just get the knee pads they have and see if they're worth the crap. And I think they are. I think if you're getting a pair of jeans type material and you're just going to be in town, I think those are a great way to go. They're fairly inexpensive. I forget the price. It was like under $80. I want to say they were 60 all said and done shipped and with the pads, but don't quote me. I'll put a, I, yeah, I'll throw a link in for Duluth Trading Company, because I think they put out some cool products. But, uh, yeah, so I've got a pair of those, they're black, and I've worn them several times, but I just, I didn't feel comfortable. I've, I've ridden around on highway rides and stuff, and I thought, you know, I just, uh, I want some better abrasion resistance, and those aren't gonna cut it. I think in a, around town in that, you know, below 50 mile an hour uh, accident or slide, you're gonna be okay. Uh, but they're not gonna be like the, the PKEV in the Rilk pants. Um, and the only reason I hadn't ordered the rock pants before is because I kind of looked at them and I went, wow, those are fairly expensive at 160 bucks plus shipping. And I looked around and looked around. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to wait because I don't know exactly what I want. Well, this trip came up and I'm like, uh, him and ha. 
Sunday night, it was late Sunday night, and uh, I'm sitting online, and I'm looking at them, and I go, you know what, hell with it. They got my size in stock and uh, ready to ship, and I said, screw it, and bought now. Took them out of the box excitedly today and checked them out, and I'm actually pretty damn impressed. I mean, you can see what they look like online, you know, and that's, you know, it's fairly accurate. They look cool. The new ones, so they have the side zipper, which is nice, and the pads, uh, the CE armor is nice. And they're soft. They are so soft. With the softness of them, I was thinking, dude, I, really? And, but after I realized that that, that Kevlar lining isn't what I traditionally think of as Kevlar, you know, like a minor detail that's huge plus for me because I'm a bigger dude. I've kind of gained a bunch of weight because I had kids and became a stay-at-home dad. And I'm always within uh, several feet of the kitchen, which is a bad thing. So anyway, uh, I've gained weight and I'm a fatty and the, the, uh, the material is stretchy just a little bit. So like the, the waistband is stretchy. So you put them on and you pull them up and oh, it's so comfortable. <sighs> okay. Welcome to the hay market of Lincoln. It is the old downtown area of Lincoln and this is European bike night. Oh, let's see, I'll squirt it in right here. Oh. I forgot to plug the mic in. <clears throat> 
<laughs> Dave's got HIDs on his GS. Those freaking things are bright. <clears throat> Bye, Dave. golf course right here. Oh, <laughs> I just drove through sprinklers. Awesome. I'm really hoping to get out and get a few more rides in, not including the one on vacation. I was talking to some of my fellow motorcycle enthusiasts tonight, and uh, a couple of guys want to try and get together just for a, you know, evening ride here and there. And it's tough for me being the stay-at-home dad. <clears throat> Another sprinkler. Uh. Oh, frog. Another sprinkler. Jeez. Stupid. Good. Look, Lord. Look at all that water. And then uh, I, I mentioned to the guys, I said, hey, let's... We should get together for uh, a nice Los Hills ride. We could spend all day riding around over there. After the leaves start to change very shortly, it's going to be really pretty. Let me turn that on so I can see. The Harley, 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 Harley. Yeah, that's not mine. That's my brother-in-law Joe's. Pretty sweet street glide. Check out my uh, accidental broadcast love. <gasps> to ribe. And I got my spoke skins. All right, folks. Good night. <laughs>